Welcome back, my Hopahawks. Of course, Plasponny and David are playing more Doorways, Holy Mountains of Flesh. Now, last time, I didn't get very far in this room. I managed to solve this puzzle, but do you think it panned out anywhere? Absolutely not. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, try a different section of the school. See if that doesn't lead me to something more promising. Um, I got to get in this room. I know I do. There's a pretty knife there, and I want it. So let's go back down. Let's go back down. We'll do that. We'll go over to the other stairwell. And, uh, I don't know. I'll try and figure out a way to get past that douchebag. Oh. Oh, the lights go off. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! He made it. <laughs> Sweet. All right, that door is locked. doesn't work. I shall light a switch over there. Ha 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 I fucking gotcha. Oh, that thing is creepy. I do not like that thing. It scares me. It's horrifying. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why I need this, but apparently I need this. All right. No big deal. We can get this. I can do this. I understand. Oh, this is gonna have to be more this way. Like, well, that's still too far. Let's keep going. That's probably good. Right there. Pretty sure I can make that. Okay. Or not. What the fuck? Ooh, he's so good. How does he do it? Alright, and where does this lead? Oh, the knife! Yes, please. Yeah, boy. I'm guessing if I fall, I die. That would not be very good for me. No, sir. We had enough of that in the last two games. Oh! 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 Shit! I don't want to know what happened at this place. That's all kinds of messed up. Now, what's that knife for? Oh, crap. Oh, or not. Alright. What the hell? Is that... Is that ground tentacles? Why are there ground... Well, how much does it get here? Why are there ground tentacles? Why? That's... N no! We have worked hard with our, with your mother for this moment. We have talked about it for a while. And finally, the time has come. We are aware of everything you have suffered due to your cruel schoolmates. And we were sure that the school with all its dark corners could be a good place for you. Happy birthday, son. Enjoy them. You fed your son, people, huh? Home sweet home. My best birthday. Who's laughing now? Oh, God. Messed up! Oh, that's who that douchebag who keeps killing me is. That's the kid. Well, I gotta say, yes, he is incredibly deformed. Betcha I can't touch these. Or I guess it doesn't matter. This is new. I, I don't really like this. No, not really. Whoa! Shh! Ah! 
Ah! Guess I can't go this way no more. No. No, I cannot. So, I guess the only place to go is up the stairs. Which, again, pretty much leads to nowhere still. Yep, that's still locked. But this one is too. Oh boy! Both still locked. No freaking. Tell me our secrets, room! They are all dead. Yes, I agree. Oh. Well, now wait a darn picking minute. What about this room done over here? Is this room just here to kill me? I don't believe that for one second. I just gotta know where the fucking light switch is. No! No! Stop it! Ah, blah, blah, blah. All right, fine. There's no way into that room. I get it. I accept this now. But I, I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep going. Okay. Boosh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Well, all right then. Doesn't really seem like much is going. Oh. Okay, we'll go there in a second. Hello? In the kitchen, I stumbled upon barrels full of some strange fluid. I raised my eyes. The kitchen sink was full of chemical equipment. This place looked more like a laboratory. Everything indicated that the building was being used with other purposes. Then, they came back to my mind. The group pictures I'd seen in the entrance hall, where I noticed that the most recent one had been taken three years ago. That led me to a second question. If this school, the only one in the village, was not used for teaching for all those years, what have they done with the kids of this village? I'm not really sure I want to even know. That sounds so messed up. Okay, well, something's got to go there. All right. Oh, well, let me leave this? Really? Okay, there we go. Fridge is empty, too. This place is a horrible ass kitchen. All right, um, let's go through that grate. Let's see if that leads me somewhere. It's awfully dark in here. The mechanical room. Excellent. feel like this is gonna be bad for me. Sender, Juan Torres. During our last conversation, you talked about some overheating problems with the emergency generator at the school. You will find the ingredients for an experimental coolant we are working on in the load sent with this note. The solution should be at least 20 times more effective than water. Unfortunately, the current solution is too volatile for transportation. This is why it must be prepared near the place of use. You will find the cooking instructions attached to this note. We will be waiting for the results. Okay. Ingredients to prepare 1 liter. 600 milliliter agent 031. Insulating oil 24C. Nanoconductor 0 AD. Instructions take this agent 31 to apply blah 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 blah. Degrees of heat during some seconds until the solution turns from transparent blue to strong blue. Then add 24C and finally 0 AD at the indicated measures. Note. <laughs> Note! 24C and AD produce a special chemical reaction and turn yellowish when mixed together. 0 AD is an unstable substance which oxidizes quickly in touch with the air, losing effectiveness and turning volatile. 
violet in a few seconds. All right. So, I gotta find all this shit now? I, uh, wasn't expecting a fetch quest. Is all this stuff in the kitchen? I hope it is. Eh. Butter hip snit. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay, uh, whatever. Just put this here real quick. All right. Now what? Ah! <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, crap. Let's try some different ones. We'll try 200. See if that gets us the necessary results. Is that yellow? Does that work? It's more like a cream color. Okay, let's try it this different way. We'll put that one. Okay. Do the green. And then that one. Alright, there we go. And now we have our mixture. That was overly complicated for me. Alright, so it's this one. Till 300. Heated to a nice boil. Then... That one. And that one. Alright, we got it! Ha ha ha! That took way too long. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, that took so long. Alrighty then. Good, 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 good. Oh! Oh, the lights are back on! Oh, that's great. I like it. Oh, it's so bright and not stupid. Ha ha! Take that, you evil shadow demon thing. Okay, so that should mean that this room now has light. Sweet. So I'm done then. I don't know what that was. That was I supposed to get that? Was that necessary? I really don't even know. Do I leave now? Wouldn't it tell me to leave? I don't really know. Yeah, I gotta say this place is much nicer <laughs> with the lights on. Just saying. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! Okay. A concentrated and toxic smell had taken over the place. I could observe Hieronimo, how his unblinking shiny eyes were following the movement of the silhouettes. Every student was either locked up, unable to move, or both. The school had turned into his refuge. This was a slaughterhouse, a gift from father to son. I reached for the light switch. The bulbs turned on. Reflections of blood started to flicker. Tens of kids were revealed, hanging upside down like animals. Their skin uh. torn off. Uh. Some limbs twisted, other parts missing. They were his classmates, 
reduced as objects. Things he used to play with, skinning, cutting, and tearing off their skin. Each scream of pain and each plea fascinated him. They were toys, desperately begging for the forgiveness of a mind rotted by hate. No oh, one could ever know God. how truly regretful they had been. No one could have foreseen that death could be something they longed for. Ah, oh, it's so messed up! Do I want to go down here? No. Not really. But I'm going to. Ooh. Oh, God. This game has a lot of, um... Oh, it has a lot of, uh... Symbolism. Like, whenever you're descending, it's usually something really horrifying. Like, when you, when you go down, it's something... Oh, my God! What the hell? Whenever you go down, it's something really bad. Holy shit! Shit! Wow. Not even. Not even, man. <laughs> wow! Doorways, guys! Not even once! Where does this lead to? Shit! 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 Shit 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 He's coming for me not good Whoa Whoa Not liking this No no please Oh god So messed up I don't know if I made that. Did I make it? <laughs> I fucking died. Oh crap. Run, Thomas Foster, run! <laughs> this game is uh, I I really gotta give up to Cyboy Studios. I know I said that every time I play these these games, but they're done so well. They're done so well. Okay! Oh! Oh crap, Thomas, you gonna fuck him up? Okay then, graphic! Jesus Christ! Nothing satisfies me more than the irony of watching someone who had exerted pain being turned into a victim. Each cut, each beating, 
Each drop of blood act as an adrenaline surge, which helps me forget the voices coming from everyone's thoughts. Oh my god. Thomas Foster just totally beat that guy's head in with a piece of rock. That was insane. I think the whole point of this story is to show Thomas Foster's slow decline into insanity from diving into the minds of these people. But I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we're back in uh, Juan Torres' hellscape. Alright, anyway guys, since that's the end of the first act, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to end this episode here. So, as always, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, become a hopaholic today. It really helps me out and I super appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of whatever I'm playing. There are your bunny ears. And I am out. Thomas, back up!